guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a review and tutorial on the new Ziva IC eyeshadow palette. So I'm not going to make this intro too long, but if you're new to my channel, then please hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and let's just go ahead and get on into the tutorial and review. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. It is freaking beautiful. It has these like gold details with brown and I think it looks absolutely stunning. And then this is a palette right here. You don't get a mirror just like the palette, which comes with 10 shades. Like these shades are beautiful. Um, the only downside is that you only have one matte shade that is super, super, super light. So I will give it a little swatch right here, but that is extremely light and that is the only matte shade in this palette. Um, but I also have the shade Mechanical Eye, which is like a pressed um, glitter. And this is what that looks like. That caught my attention immediately after opening up this palette. That is absolutely beautiful. I don't know the price by heart, but I think it is around 22 euros. It will be on the screen. But let's move on to the tutorial of how I got this eye look. And then by the end of the video, I will give you guys my thoughts and opinions on the palette. So the first shade I'm going in with is this one which is called One Place at a Time and I'm going to use that to set my primer down and then also add it as a little like transition shade even though it is too light for that. I'm going to try and build that up just a little bit and see what we can do with it. Okay so that is definitely buildable, I just do have to apply a lot. Alright so I'm not going to be able to build it up darker than that so what I'm going to do now is against everything that I believe in. So what I'm going to do now is pick up Triumph of Imagination, which is this shade right here. And I am going to try to apply that in the inner and outer corners and then also connect it in my crease. Okay, so that shade isn't very pigmented, to be completely honest. Like, I am going ham in the pen and this is what I get. That also looks very, very, very patchy. Okay, so, so far this is what we have. That doesn't look blended in my crease whatsoever. So yeah, that's not really a smooth eyeshadow if you ask me. But I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Okay, so, so far this is what we have. I'm going to darken that up using Images Art Soundless, which is this one right here. Using the same brush, I'm going to apply it on the same areas. Just not really in my crease. I will have to clean up the edges with some concealer, but so far this is what we have. And before going with the lid shade, I am going to use my NYX Glitter Primer. This will provide a nice tacky base to stick to. And I'm going to apply that in the center of my eyelids where I didn't apply any of the other shades. And then I'm going to pick up Mechanical Eye, which is this beautiful shade right here. And I'm going to focus that where I applied the um, NYX Glitter Primer. That is beautiful. Basically this is like a pressed glitter. So you do get a little bit of fallout, but that's okay. So I am just pressing this shade onto my eyelids. So not in sweeping motions, but really just pressing it in. Okay, and then to blend the two shades together, I'm going to use this shade, which is called Idealized. And I'm going to use it on the same brush. Picking up a little bit of concealer, I'm going to clean up the edges. For my under eyes, I'm going to smoke Idealized out and see what that looks like. Okay, to darken that up, I'm going to pick up this shade called Images Are Soundless. And I'm going to apply that closely to my waterline. Alright, so this is what the eyes are looking like so far. To highlight my inner corners and brow bone, I'm picking up Unforgettable Contrast, which is the first shade right here. I'm going to apply that in my inner corners and also on my brow bone. For eyeliner, I'm going to use my um, Inglot AMC Gel Eyeliner. This is in the shade 77, which is basically a black eyeliner. Okay, I'm back. So whilst I was off camera, I also applied my mascara. I used the Essence I Need a Miracle Mascara. And to finish off the eyes, I wanted to use my ColourPop um, Creme Gel Liner. This is in the shade Best O, and I'm going to apply this on my waterline. It's been a hot minute since I applied an eyeliner on my waterline and I think it really pulls the look together, so yeah. And Best O is like a beautiful, beautiful purple shade, a little bit darker than the eyes, but I think it will match it beautifully. Alright, like so. And in the last step, I'm going to apply a lip color and this is the Recon Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade 0290s Mauve. So I hope this will go with the eye look. Um, this is what it looks like. I think it will because it is also a little bit cool toned. So I'm going to apply this right now. I have never used it so I don't know 
what it will look like but yeah let's give it a try all right so this is what it looks like i actually kind of like it with these eyes it is very different for me like these purple eyes with this like cool tone grayish brown but I'm not, I'm not mad about it. I actually like it. The formula of this is very liquid. I'm not really the biggest fan of it, but yeah, this video isn't about the lipstick, it is about the eyes. But yeah, this is the finished makeup look. so far the look I created and my final thoughts on the palette is actually that I'm not really the biggest fan of it the shade I was most excited about this one right here it is it looks beautiful on my eyes but it is literally all over my face um, so it is a glitter but even though I use a glitter primer it just basically fell all over my face which I'm not really a big fan of and then also I am missing a lot of shades in this palette for example a few matte shades a few like transition shades a darker matte shade so yeah this palette the color story I'm not really a big fan of it um like this shade I had to build up a lot so yeah when it comes to the quality they're okay and each shade individually is beautiful but like this palette overall just doesn't really inspire me that much and it is really hard to create a look using only this palette it is almost impossible actually i tried doing it but this is not a look i would usually go for i prefer like deepening it up a little bit and also adding a lot more um, matte shades in my look but yeah this is a look I came up with. I'm not mad about it, but I've done a lot better. Um, and that is because of this eyeshadow palette. So in my opinion, it's not really worth the money. I think Zweva has better palettes. Um, so yeah, so far my thoughts. I do like the eye look, but I wouldn't recommend the eyeshadow palette. Normally I'm like obsessed with Zweva, um, but this just isn't it for me. It's not doing it for me. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below on this look. Do you like it or not? I'm really on the fence about it. I like it, but it's not what I usually do. But if you like Zweva videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. That way I know to film more of them. And yeah, that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.